highlighting before your foundation okay so let's get started it's gonna be kind of weird working out of order because I'm so used to like putting on foundation and then highlighting and contouring but we're gonna do it all the way around backwards you know I did fill in my eyebrows and I also primed with this NYX photo loving primer which is my favorite primer I was debating whether I should use my LA girl pro concealers or I should use my Anastasia contour kit so I think I'm going to use this the one girl that I saw on Instagram that did this, she was kind of like my skin complexion, but her highlight was really, really bright. I don't know if using a very bright highlight would, you know, it would, what is the word I'm trying to say? I don't know if it's going to transfer, you know, through the foundation and still look highlighted. I think I'm going to use the lightest shade. I would normally use, what is this, cinnamon, but I'm going to use nude. I have no idea how this is going to come out. I'm going to put a little avocado oil in my um, kit because if you do own this Anastasia kit, you know that it gets really dry. So I use oil to kind of hydrate it and then I use it. And this stuff is really, really thick. So it should give me like a full coverage look. <laughs> I'm just gonna highlight like I normally do. Okay, I look crazy right now. But whatever. Okay, so I got this little shape. Ooh, stuff. I'm going to blend it out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge before I apply my foundation. I'm hoping that using this light shade pays off because I could have just used the cinnamon color, but. I wanted the highlight to show through my foundation. <laughs> I look so crazy. Like, this is almost looking white on camera. Oh my goodness. This is why we try stuff. I want to try it out myself so I can complain. I don't know how perfect this has to be blended out if I'm about to put my foundation on the top. <laughs> I gotta take a picture of this, like for real. I'm just gonna contour. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. small stipple brush to blend out this contour. Okay, so the moment of truth. The foundation that I'm going to be using is my Maybelline Fit Me. My shade is in Mocha. And I wanted to use like a semi um, coverage foundation because I felt like if I was to use my full coverage foundation it would just basically cover everything and not really show the highlight so hopefully my theory works I'm going to be using this because you can kind of like build the coverage up I don't see my highlight my god I don't see the highlight let me just finish applying all of it I mean, I don't know, you guys. I honestly just feel like I look flat. Like, I don't really see the highlight. I feel like I just wasted, like, the little highlight part because I honestly don't see, like, a difference if I was to do this after. Like, I feel like I still need to put more highlight on. I don't know. I see nothing. I just see foundation. I don't see, like, the difference. Maybe... Let me set my highlight down. I feel like the powder is just going to lighten those areas anyway. So it's kind of like I didn't even have to highlight at all. Let me finish off the rest of my face and I'll be back. So I kind of just finished off my face. I just set my face and put on a lip. Um, This is going to have to be a no for me only because... I don't really see the purpose of highlighting first when I can't even see it. I like to look, you know, bright. I want to look like I'm highlighting and contour and this is kind of like nothing is really there. I guess it gives you kind of a natural look, but to be honest, I feel like I'm just wasting makeup products doing it that way. I thought that putting on light shades would kind of show through the foundation, but I was wrong. Make sure that you guys subscribe and like this video if you did like it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.